The blue hazed hills of Mizoram have always been alive with the sound of music. Down the ages, the land of the Highlanders have been resounding with drum beats and tunes, varying from primitive ritual chants to harmonized modern hymns. Endowed with a rich legacy of folk songs, colorful culture, and a romantic environment of beautiful landscape, the Mizos have a vast repertoire of folk songs, hymns, and modern music. Though indeed, within the past century, their musical styles have undergone lots of changes, particularly following their conversion to Christianity, the Mizos still preserve their folk music and songs for festive and special occasions. <laughs> Music runs in the blood of the Mizos. They have a keen sense of music and have songs for practically all occasions. Since the olden days, they sing in times of victory, sorrow, festivals and memorable events for which there are never dearth of spontaneous composers. Many of the folk songs and chants handed down generations by word of mouth not only reflect their sentiments but also their experiences and past life. In fact, in the absence of a script of their own, they now serve as reliable sources for the documentation of their history as well. The Mizos have a good number of traditional musical instruments, most of which are made by themselves. Some of these instruments are Kuang, This is the traditional drum, invariably used in almost all community singing sessions. Kuang is made of the hide of mithun or cow, stretched on both ends of a hollow tree trunk of about two feet in length and about a foot in diameter. There is a miso phrase, dance without a drum, to describe a situation or activity where something important is amiss. Even today, the traditional kuang is used in all the church services and worship programs to lead and keep the beat of hymns. Dar kuang Darkwang is a large brass gong, and this term is used here to refer to all the different gongs used by the Mizos, including Darmang. Depending on the size and the make, the gongs produce different sounds. Darbu is a set of three medium sized gongs with different pitches, which produce beautiful tunes when beaten in turns by an expert. These gongs are used as accompaniments to most of the folk dances of the Mizos. Procured from Burma, gongs are expensive brassware 
and used to be treasured by the Mizos in the olden days. In fact, they were often demanded as part of a bride's price by well-to-do families. Long. This is a flute made of bamboo. Though it is hardly used in festive occasions, it is a popular musical instrument because of the sweet flowing music it produces. Bengbung. Bengbung consists of shaven pieces of wood taken from a species of tree known as Kumma. The player lays the pieces over a hollow tree trunk or even his legs when sitting over a mortar and beats them with sticks to produce soft musical sounds. It is hardly used in public occasions but generally in sentimental moments by old people at home. Ching Chang. Ching Chang is a violin like instrument with one string. It is made of a hollowed gourd to which a bamboo shaft is fixed to act as the arm. A dried animal bladder is stretched over the hollow gourd, and the string, taken from a species of palm, is tied at both ends of the bamboo shaft. Much like a violin, a thin bamboo stick is used as the bow which is rubbed against the string to produce musical sound similar to that of a violin. The name Ting Chung is now widely used to refer to the guitar which has become the most popular musical instrument of the present generation. Talkuang Talkuang is a set of three wooden pieces with one side hollowed out to produce loud sound when beaten with sticks. The depth of the hollow varies so that each makes different notes.
Talquang was usually beaten in the past as part of a ritual when memorial platforms were erected and left there with a beating stick. When this was done, it was forbidden for anyone to take it away from there. Sometimes, Talquang is also kept in the Jhum hut for scaring away animals as well as for raising an alarm. Tumpit Tumpit consists of three small bamboo tubes tied together and played by blowing into the tubes which being of different length make different sounds. In the past it was usually played during ritual ceremonies particularly that of Ralulam. Rotem. Rotem is an elaborately designed musical instrument that in a way resembles the Scottish bagpipe. It consists of nine bamboo tubes with side holes inserted into a large dried gourd. It is played by blowing into the tubes which are of different sizes and length so that they give out different notes. Similar to the flute playing, the pitch and notes are controlled by blocking or opening the side holes with the fingers. Limloi This is a musical instrument unique to the Mizos. Limloi is a kind of mouth organ made of short bamboo pieces and a string which is pulled with the hand when the pieces are blown with the mouth to give out shrill and sweet sounds. It was once a very popular musical instrument. Tuyumdar, a simple stringed instrument made of bamboo, Tuyumdar used to be played mostly by children. A piece of bamboo cut with the nodes at both ends is carefully sliced lengthwise on one side to carve out two or three fine strings, which are then raised with two small pieces of bamboo. It is played with the fingers like a guitar. Oh, <laughs> my
Totorot, a trumpet made of bamboo. Totorot is made of a number of short bamboo tubes of different sizes joined together in order of sizes. The smaller end is about the size of a forefinger and it serves as the mouthpiece. A half cut dried gourd is attached at the wider end and with this the entire length may be more than 5 feet. Despite its impressive size and build, Totorot is hardly used in festivals but generally kept in the jhum to signal their whereabouts or raise alarm. Sekikon Sekikon is simply a dry mithun horn but once a common musical instrument used to lead and keep the beat to the accompaniment of songs and is also used with gongs. It was always beaten during Tsai dance. The music-loving Mizos like to improvise their instruments and there are many who are experts at Na'atum or leaf blowing. For this style of music, a thin tender leaf is used. One side of the leaf is folded and the leaf is inserted between the lips and then blown to create shrill sound. An expert blower can actually play beautiful tunes and songs in this way. Today, in the sophisticated world and changed lifestyle, many of these musical instruments are not in use except on special events and festivals. However, even as the new generations keep up with the latest musical genre, producing talented soloists, rock bands and choirs, the Mizos still hold on to their tradition of communal singing. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank mm-hmm. you.